Welcome back to another episode of Rip Some Lips. Right now I'm going to show you how to do a tie up a hair jig. Right here is a HD glitter trout jig. Uh, it's new to HD bait coat, only about a month old. Um, the way I first start, I do a nice wrap to on the shank of the hook to keep the hair nice and tight on there so it doesn't slide off since there's not like a bait keeper or some you know how you see on roundhead jigs there's a little lead uh, bait keeper on there and since this one doesn't have one I'm doing the uh, wraps and then at the bottom of it I'm keeping it I'm wrapping it several times to raise it up so just in case it uh, that's insurance so it doesn't slide off it so the hair stops at that bump um, I got purple here that's my choice of color choice of hair what I've learned is to use small amounts of hair. If you want to do a thick hair jig, yeah, you can go back and put more on there, but start start out with small amounts. Good. I've learned I've also learned to have a good sharp pair of scissors. Square that up. Put it on the back and then kind of push it around. The first couple wraps are going to be nice and loose to just secure that string on there. And then you can start cranking it on there. I like to do a first nice tight wrap there and then I'll start doing the upper part it's important to make your jig look good by even wrapping it don't go like once don't uh, favor the back or favor the front do even and any string uh, at any hobby store will work I like using stronger string because I really crank it on there. Fluff it up a little bit. We'll see how tight that is. Oh, perfect. A couple more wraps. And then some people they have a tool I can't remember the name, but I just you do like a circle, and then you're just I do two or three of them choice of use that's a main part of tying hair jigs it's uh, what you like to have it got the clear or the head cement it's a clear finish but it works okay, got that on there and then just, I like to just slide it and it comes off real nice and easy. These are available on HG Bait Co. for $2, or $1.50, excuse me. You're paying for a handmade bait. This is not mass produced, it's all quality stuff. And that's how you tie a HG glittered trout jig. Grant's going to show you some examples of ones I've already tied. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as I was saying earlier, you can... The, yeah, there are a set color on our website, but you can ask for custom colors, no extra charge.